Digital versus analog. Digital and analog are two completely different aspects of sending data transmissions. Okay. The difference between them, it relates more in terms of speed and transfer capabilities than it does to quality. You can have a good quality analog signal, just like you can have a good quality di digital signal. Analog is where you send a signal in terms of waves. You send it as a series of highs and lows, but they're not ones and zeros. They're the actual representation of what that item would be. Your audio, when you record it, the spikes you see are the analog representation of the audio. It, it shows you what your high is and what your low is. Okay. You know, it shows you where your voice is creating this wave that bounces back and forth. So what's, what's digital then? In digital that? would be sending a series of information in a series of ones and zeros. Digital requires a clock because both sides have to know exactly when to interpret a series of digits and when to stop interpreting that series. Okay. You know, when you have your 100 megabit internet, which is a standard network interface card for any PC nowadays. Yeah. It's sent, both sides have a 100 megabit per second clock. And the amount of data that gets sent over that wire determines the speed. It cannot breach that clock. That clock limits it. It's got it's got a threshold of whatever the card is. Right. Your your card rating is the fastest you can send data because that's what the clock's rated at. Mm -hmm. Or the or the uh, the lowest, I mean not the lowest, but the highest out of the three or the the highest amount of of which throughput you can get. Yeah. The largest amount of data that can be sent over that wire at any given point in time. Mm -hmm. Whereas analog doesn't use a clock it just uses something that's creating waves on the wire okay you can test analog with two tin cans and a piece of string between the two all right you know if you've ever played the telephone game when you were six <laughs> you know that that's an analog signal you're sending the audio over the line it doesn't require electricity it's vibration okay you can send analog as electricity but it doesn't require it analog is in Forms of vibration, light, electricity, sound, pretty much anything out there. Okay. You know, knocking on a wall creates an analog signal through your house. Whereas digital requires both sides to be on the form of electricity or at least have a clock of some form. Uh, so what is, uh, like, examples of an analog system and a digital well, system? analog is your standard audio jacks your 2.5 millimeter and your 3.5 millimeter right there, right there right the ones you find on your phone your ipod you know you find them on computers all the time yeah they're basic speaker jacks okay digital is usb all right you can so have usb data. speakers it just sends the audio as a series of ones and zeros and usb also has electricity running through it too right so so does the analog just in a different form okay it's not sending it as you know a high and a low if you would look at a digital signal via an oscilloscope, you would just see ups and downs. Whereas audio, you would see the ups and downs vary uh -huh. largely. You can have a quiet piece of audio, you know, a little whisper. <laughs> and the ups and downs, the amplitude would be smaller. Whereas if you yell, they're going to be bigger. Yeah. Because that's how the data is being transmitted. If you were to plug a jack into your headphone port and connect an oscilloscope to each wire you would see that it would show you the exact waveform just like a video editor you're going to see every time you talk you're going to see the sound waves it's just that's obviously exactly. digital because that's in the computer but... exactly when your your audio editor shows you the waves it's showing you the amplitude the frequency determines the pitch mm -hmm. you know higher frequencies are going to be a higher pitch and each note, you know, from A to G, from octave zero to eight, has its frequency number. Middle C is a 440 hertz frequency. That's C4. When you're going up 
your frequency doubles. The next C up is 880. And uh, that all relates to? The analog signal. Analog. It relates okay. to how far apart the top part of the waves are. Okay, so in, in a nutshell, analog versus digital is? It's the way the signal is transmitted. 